I, I typed a couple of weeks ago in chat GPT, just to decide, I got the 4.0 chat GPT. One of the questions I asked is, let's take Tomiko again, for example, as I close this drink. If we had Tomiko as someone who understood exactly what was happening in World War II, everything. Like, let's say we gave her the modern perspective of somebody who is a historian, totally unbiased, and has all the research already in her mind. She understands everything. What would be her chance of ending the war, saving her life, and saving the lives of everybody else as of the moment that she entered that junior high school, or, or as they called it back then, high school? The Kotojo Gakurin, the, uh, what's it called? The first prefectural, first Hiroshima prefectural high school, girls high school. She entered that school April 1st. What would be her chances of being able to, with everything she knows, affect some change to the extent that she can end the war? She can get both of these demonic sides to not sacrifice her and everybody else who's just trying to survive somehow in Japan. Chat GPT said that her chance was probability wise if she knew everything and if she had all of the resources that she could possibly get right realistically speaking not just gonna jump hoops and all of a sudden she's just right next to tojo and tells him what a, no just realistically speaking from where she is as a normal schoolgirl, what can she do without dying immediately they gave her a one to two percent chance of success. And they said that was on the high scale. So what this means is that if this little girl knew everything that was going on abroad, everything Japan was doing to like the, the army was doing to other people, but she didn't. And if she knew everything about the allies, about anybody in charge, which obviously she, she didn't. She knew about certain evil people. Like she knew FDR was evil. She knew Churchill was evil. She, she knew like the broad scale, the very broad scale. But she didn't know the specifics. But if she knew all the specifics and if she had a teacher who had higher connections, who could get her in touch with people, and if she was able to be persuasive enough to, to get that teacher on her side and, and to try and craft some sort of plan to get a resistance movement going on peacefully, to try and advocate for some sort of compromise between Japan and, or not even compromise, but just a peaceful surrender between Japan and America, and just appealing for America to, to be merciful on behalf of their humanity to try and go ahead and raise a swell of support for that peace movement within Japan to where the leadership of the Grand Allies would take notice of her movement and, and stop the killing before the atomic bombings of Hiroshima in which she would be killed. They gave that a 2% max chance of success. 2% max chance of success. If she knew everything, and if she spoke to all the right people, she would have a 2% max chance of succeeding and reaching these demons in the American government and getting them to see that her life and the life of her little sister and of her little brother and of her other little sister unborn and of her mom and dad and of their friends and of her friends and, and of her friends' friends and their families and everybody in all these cities who just wanted to live and not starve to death and who just wanted to, they are praying for the fighting to stop. To just spare their lives. And try and work out some other way. For peace going forward. Where everybody can just reset. 
and move on together. This shit searched all the websites. Took about a minute to come to a conclusion. Drafted this scenario where she did all this shit right. Even brought some Sadako Sasuke shit in there and, and, and the peace cranes and, and had her doing that. And, and they were folding so many that the, the allies could see it and shit. And they were trying to reach them by radio and, and everything. And they tried to get got somebody in the government and they got a, a, more people from that. Rent ahead, persuaded them, one after the other, domino effect. To end the killing. 2%. These devils wanted to kill. They did not want to consider her a human being. Or at all. They didn't want to consider her life any more than the lives of the, the fish who died in the rivers and, and ponds as Hiroshima was boiled. Or the pet kitties and shit who were singed and, and turned into ash. The demons don't give a fuck. You can try and plead for your life if you want to. You can fall to your knees and, and pray up at the napalm that is falling on your face. Slowly. It's like, it like flutters down. So it can spread out and, 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 and spray in the air as, as large of an area as possible. You can pray at the, the nondescript bomber demon who's smelling everybody's burning flesh from thousands of yards up. Ugh, it smells awful. Ugh. You're not going to get any salvation. Just like in Palestine, you're not going to get any salvation. Just like if you're a little kid getting raped in Ukraine, you're not getting any salvation. Most likely. Because these are demons. They don't give a fuck. They want you to die. And they want you to feel hopeless and beg for your life. Implore. Please spare me. They want that. And they want you to take as much effort as possible to try and save your friends and family. They love to see you struggle. Biden loves that. He loves spending your money. To get them killed. It's the only reason that motherfucker stays awake nowadays. Get some fucking heart to see these kids die. And to muse about how much they're, they're praying to God and they're still dying. Because that motherfucker doesn't believe in God. Doesn't believe in any sort of salvation after death. He's like, Allah can't save you now. And I'm still going to win this election. Because they're still going to hate Trump that much. 2% chance. She did an entire underground peace movement that transitioned into an overt peace movement that the government could not stop because they played it safe long enough to where she would have been executed <laughs> or, or rather thrown in a re-education camp and beaten up and, and her family as well. And then her, her like, whatever, two-year-old uh, sister probably would have been given to some Family of a family of a family of a family, like thrice removed or something like that, probably for further than that. And then they all getting beaten in the fucking camps and hit with the indoctrination. And that's the end of that. And then she's still probably dying in the Hiroshima bombing, along with her friends like and family. But if none of that happened, if she played it completely perfectly in so far as she could. To whatever limited power she had as a kid, wanting to make a difference, wanting to end the killing. 2%. 2%. Just like Malala couldn't do it. Just like Greta couldn't do it. Malala got shot in the face. And she moved a lot of people, but the demons could not be swayed. And more importantly, they could not be stopped. Isn't that a fucking shame? 
I'm sorry, even, even now thinking about it, I can't get over it. 2% max. The peace cranes and the thousand cranes for, for, for you know, making change in a positive risk. That's way older than Sadako. That's, that's hundreds of years old. That's, as a matter of fact, that's why Sadako was taught that. But it still would have like, it doesn't mean that it would ju- have just been powerful for Sadako. What I mean by saying that is that that would have been a national movement if somebody could get the swell, right, and the charisma with it to put that forward on a national scale. There's a lot of propaganda to get past. But if she had those people working with her who had those connections and then she propagated that movement to the national scale, to where even some of the allied leadership were noticing that she was trying to appeal for talks, for conversations with the other side. For them to just hold, cease fire. Give them some time to breathe, to live. They don't support this fighting. They don't support what's happening overseas. You've got this. You've got it. Just give us a chance to talk to you. Two percent. Isn't that a shame? We're talking tens and 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 tens of tens and thousands of people. But the grand allies don't want to risk it. Because they don't care. They don't want to risk not killing. And there might be some civilians still that make supplies in some of these areas, urban, and there are some farmers there as well. And so there are also city reserves, and the reserves can be used as food for the soldiers, and the people can be drafted at any moment. And thus, as a result, because the kids are helping to make uh, the equipment that might eventually find a race to the soldiers overseas, even though we have restrictions on overseas merchant ship, let alone fucking uh, travel, let alone bringing weapons and shit overseas. I don't know what the fuck their excuse is. There is no excuse. We're going to keep bombing them for the fuck of it. Peace protests, she started those in the response, the chat, the chat GPT response. It didn't matter. 2% chance. You know what that means? That means all the protesters get firebombed and then atomic bombed. Peace protesters. Now, were there huge ass peace protesters in Japan back then? No, there there were not. However, there were protests. And besides that, people were protesting silently. They were working less, or like I said, they were playing hooky, or they were writing in diaries about how much they didn't like what was going on. They were even talking shit about the emperor in their diaries. Now, these weren't the diaries that were like the school kids' diaries because then that would have put you in like a re-education. But I'm talking about, they were talking shit about like, well, maybe not put in a camp immediately, but you would have gotten some punishment. But like you you were talking trash in your own personal diaries about the government. Why? Because you were fucking starving and your relatives were sent to fight overseas. And your kids' teachers were sent to fight overseas or your, your son or whatever nephew was sent to fight overseas. And you are forced to do this bullshit work, hard ass work for nothing. And especially if you were a woman, you got less rations than the the men got. You got less food than the men got. But the protests didn't do anything because the demons don't care about peaceful protests. Just like they didn't care when when, um, Masa Mini died. And yes, a lot of them were violent, which is whatever. I don't give a fuck. You're going to fight? Fight. These motherfuckers are evil. You got to fight them at some point. If not to kill, like for self-defense. But all I'm saying is that the devils do not care. They don't. Unless you directly try and kill them, it seems they are not going to care. Otherwise, 
you got to attack them economically. Which means the only way that Tomiko thing could have worked is to every civilian just stops doing anything. They just stay at home and they, well, there's actually nothing they could have done. Because if they farmed, if they farm at all to try and live, there would not be enough farms to support everybody. And so they would die. So many people would die. Hundreds of thousands of people would die. And beyond that, the grand allies would see that as a threat anyway. You're farming, you're farming food for the soldiers. You're farming food for the war effort. You're going to use that food as you're on your lunch break when you're making supplies for the war effort. And so they're going to keep bombing innocent people anyway. You're going to use that as an excuse. And then anybody who might have been on Tomiko's side is going to turn against her because these motherfuckers are still going after us. And now it's harder to live because the government isn't giving us shit. They're not giving us rations. That's where the 2% comes from. The 2% comes from all the chaos that starts from the fucking bombings that these demons do. Because no one likes it when their loved one is burned to death. When they've lost everything and now they have to live out on the streets. No one likes that. And so one person could not have made a difference except for the emperor. But the emperor was evil. The emperor was so evil, the emperor wanted to keep the shit going as long as he was not allowed to to be at least a puppet emperor. That's how petty this motherfucker was. But you keep the shit fighting if they don't let you become a, a, a little fake ass emperor? Of course we'll keep it fighting. Oh, but sir, now the Russians are coming and they're, they're just gonna, they're gonna fuck you up. They're gonna nail you onto a cross or whatever. Pfft. Rape your, your everything. Kids and, and wife and, and all of that. And destroy us. And them. Just like they did with those other kids and women and, and men who happen to be living in Manchuria. They're gonna brutalize all of us. Well, no, in that case, I guess we gotta surrender. All those guys just died for nothing. All our subjects just died for nothing. The de- demons don't care. None of them care. They care about themselves and not feeling pain themselves. And the immediate things that they care about, the immediate people they care about. But on the whole, they don't care about other people. And so they are the antithesis to the human race getting closer to God. And in other words, bettering itself. For us having better lives, more comfortable, secure lives. And being well off for ourselves and our families. They are against that. There was no salvation on earth for these people because if you're looking for man to be your savior well you might get some momentary relief but that's not eternal salvation only god can provide that beyond earth and that's in god's eternal love which is called heaven it doesn't have to be some gates or whatever that you get the key to when you unlock them but what i mean is you are always in god's love spiritually forevermore that's what heaven is And on earth, more likely than not, you're not even going to get that temporary relief. You're not even going to get that reprieve. They were good guys in everything that I just said. But guys, right? It wasn't eternal goodness. And so a lot of people suffered horribly on earth. And he didn't find those good guys. And that's because, again, these motherfuckers do not care. These demons do not care. They will use any excuse to other you so that they can abuse and destroy you.